time if someone was to come and do this again and they had the same problem with us this morning, do you think like with it? No. So, hey, come this mate, look at this. Why do you say that's looking good, isn't it? Din, 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 din. We've literally used one fitting on the full discharge. What do you think to that? See the coil there, coil for the heating coil, electrical element, and the cold water coil there. <coughs> right, money, guys, so it's 10 to 8. Just popping out to go get my van uh, from the garage. I cannot wait to get it back. But on the way, Matty's van started flickering again. I'm just like, why? But we'll tell no can't Matty and have a little word and see what's going on, can't we? We'll get to last night, lads. Did you enjoy going live? It's quite funny, wasn't it? Uh, we'll, go live. we'll go live against there. No, we'll go live at lunchtime. Got a lot of traction from one special person. Matty's special person in life, or was it? <laughs> but yeah, that air uh, install went well yesterday. There's still bits to do, but obviously we are there today. We've got all the vents on the change. So, Tommy, off YouTube, thank you for that one. Uh, took a fair more store out. I'm not fitting 200, no, 150 litre vented cylinder in its position. We need to upgrade the discharge pipe as well because there's some idiots down this road. I hate this street. So, yeah, the fleet's it. back. Look at it! Georgia lads. Oh, <laughs> I'll get you on George, I'm gonna get my van unloaded as well. Coming for the takeoff, right with George. What are you saying this morning lad? You're tired I am, I'm knackered. So on this unvented cylinder today, this install. We're just going to get stroller rolled up now. Shoe covers are ready. I don't know where Matt's put the stroller roll, but it's got his most important thing, tea, water, air, or there's stroller roll. This is all coming out. We're going to put a new 150 litre unvented cylinder in. Get rid of that, unfortunately. That's going to scrap pile, because uh, the uh, coil inside of it has got a pin prick in it, so if I say a pin prick, it's fractured. It's leaking water, so it's forcing cold mains back into this tank. It's raising the level of this tank and coming out the old floor. So this is all coming out. We're going to tie this cupboard right up so again. I'm not really happy with the how it is now. So I should be able to hopefully pull that ply up, stand the cylinder on the base there, but be a good one this one. And the only reason I don't think I don't like is I've put the bloody magma clean on the floor, but I'll have to put that as it is because I can't get it back on. But at least it's got, I think it has, mate, yeah. But to be fair, we can straight it from here, it'll be fine, bud. You can have a look if you want to open the tap chair. But yeah, we'll get this done and then connect it back to existing controls. We've got a two port flat as well, so I can install it. Now the system looks like it is on an S-Plan Plus, but again, I can sort that. We're just going to, like I say, use that dual channel channel time clock for the hot water side of things and go from there. So we'll get underway, get cheap. And as well, so we're not going, away. Right? <sighs> so again, Back in the deep end, I've got my van back, thank God. You can see how tired I like to be. Plenty of H2O to keep free. So important tools coming out now. Radio, installed day, so it's installed bag coming out. Just got to look at the wiring, because I've got all, all the wiring on this, but that's not so bad. I'll get some blow oil for the drain off, why not, sod it. The work is just ruthless at the moment. It's just absolutely crazily busy, but it's not a bad thing. Hence why my hair and beard looks like this, but I'll get time to get in. Not looking. So this one here is a thermal store. Give a quick insight now how this works. So we have our cold main, which comes in, comes for a balancing valve there. Isolation valve, which don't work. Tees into the cylinder, and the reason being it tees in because that T there, literally. So you'll see here, about here like that, a big coil that'll go around like this. Keep going round, and it comes out to my hot pipe there down. So that's the cold water circuit done. It's got a low water content. It even says on there, you can see, my hot water only holds 13 litres there of hot water. So the cold comes up, goes through the coil, comes out. Now this is a TMV, a thermostatic mix involved. And what it does here, the hot water blends because stats and stuff on this system, this cylinder needs to be getting up to 80 degrees, well, the same temperature as the boiler, basically, to be able to create that running at 60 degrees doesn't work it needs to be slightly higher so it works on the limit stack there so the hot water comes out blends down to 60 degrees here then the hot comes out feeds the full property obviously my hot water the way this full tank gets filled warmed up should i say is my hot water flow off my boiler comes in again goes on the coil there like that 
all the way around its coil and then comes out on the return back to the boiler. So in favor, there's three zones, three systems installed here. So we've gone over the heating, gone over the hot water, and this tank literally is just a gravity open feed, whatever you want to call it, tank, works like that principle, same as the toilet there. That has a float in there, which you'll see. And all it does is that level just keeps the water up and it just it is just a thermal store, it just literally holds water. So back in the day. You're sorry, bud? Yeah. Wait a minute, what's she saying? Still got the wash on off the thing, haven't yeah. So that literally just works on it's just its own storage water basically. It's just stored water which heats up a thermal store and allows the hot water to work at such a high flow rate. So these are on most good systems back in the day, but more efficient systems now, unvented cylinders, stored hot water, because again, the way these systems are designed, it's got to get that up to temperature, that yield it before it does anything else. So again, this is all coming out. Uh, we'll tie the pipe work as best as we can. I'm gonna get the cylinder and get it sent straight to the back there, expansion up there. So I think the customer will be happy because I'll mail most of the gain a lot well, more space board here. is a nightmare, but this is the overflow which I've used in HEP. So what we're gonna do here now, I'm going to just turn this radio down. Matty has just recently completed his invented, so I'm going to hand over to him while we're upgrading the discharge. So, Matt, talk to me about the D2. What do you mean? Well, it's an Epsilon plastic sagging under the floor. Yeah, well, Some people connect to it. Do we do this at Caprani? No, we do a proper job down here at Caprani. So, what we're going to do is just renew it in copper, slab it up in copper, then we are going to convert it. Outside, because it may exceed seven meters, so then we have to upgrade it from 22 to inch and a quarter. So, we're going to upgrade it out the same hole. We might have to drill that hole because they've drilled it and it's a little bit higher. We can just drop it down to the floor, so we can drill it. Yeah, that's right. Then just we'll elbow it across and drop it low to the floor. Safety is paramount, isn't it, Matty? Yeah. You've got one in great, so not yeah. I've got a great, I can put a great, that's not a problem. You've got one in your back? Yeah, but we'll put that to the side. But again, we've taken it up now. That is the discharge, and that is an actual shambles. I mean, to be fair, that's already been accident overflow, but that's new builds for you. Taking the floor up nice, is that'll go back down secure. So whenever you're taking chipboard up, take a big section up, don't take little strips up. Did it when I was apprentice, fell through floor. But yeah, just on with the job now. I think this is more or less Now let's have a little look. Hooray! It's wobbly. So I'll get this lifted out now, and then uh, we'll get the new cylinder dropped in position. Got to say, Matt, like, bash. What are we doing here then, So I'm just literally, Instagram, we've got a like off plan of taking the hammer on plumbing. I like the little job you did yesterday, Matty. I'm just going to like this one. You cowboy. Look how stiff these are. Stiff Richard. To be fair, I should just cut it for nice, but don't you think? Um, what of a reset? Yeah. I'll do this though, because I'm going to try to get this section out here now. You've committed now, aren't you? Pardon? You've committed to it now, haven't you? Yeah, I'm not going to go on to it. There's one. Should be able to take this full section out. I'll get it pulled full, I can just connect the image as well, can't I? But just take your time when you're shipping out, you know. Mark up your pipes, which you've done. The base should be alright. Good luck to have this one, to be fair. Do you think we should paint it black? Good tune that, actually. Pardon? Good tune that, actually. Paint the back, what's in it? Rolling Stars. Yeah, mine hasn't it? No, it's Rolling Stars. Rolling Stars? Yeah. I've used uh, Jet Black and some like stinks. You know what it is, Jet Black? Hang on, what am I doing here, Matt? Say, stop being an idiot, Matt. Just get it out there. I need to lift this out. Look at that noise about you. It's like you was like, you're on the ball, like. Yeah, I don't know what I'm behind the lens, mate. Right up there. It's alright mate, fine. Got the towel. Just a little bit of dead water on that, won't we? Just put it to the toilet. Absolutely turn that wall, sweat the carpet. I pulled the stroller over. We don't mind, won't it? We're fine. I wonder where that's come from because that's a hot oil up the kitchen tap. Have you? No, I am mate, no. Don't matter, it's fine. No problem, no problem. Right, you should be able to disconnect the heaters now. And then, all being well. Where's that drip coming from? Oh, that's right. 
custom mutton blood. Some mad people like watching us do this, isn't it? <laughs> Just saying that. Have a shave, you couldn't. I can't afford it, can I? So, I'm happy that we think that's like, sort of dry, definitely now. So, I'll put everything back in, I'll lift this out on with. See, si, senor. But what we'll do in the interim, I'll spin around. Six feels into that, man. It is, that, that, a lot of that water's in the bloody coil. And that's good, yeah, shut up. There's water from the ceiling. Ah. Nah, I ain't gonna go that. You want a cap? No, cause it's, it's only a bit of dead water, and look, it's stopped now. Have you done electrical tests? Thought what was the power mats off in it? Yeah, I've done this. Uh, board RCD protected and all that. Safe, safe at isolation, mate. So. Power might go off here. Because if the video would show. It's on RCD, mate. So. Right, that's drained, then we can get that lifted out, mate. We'll get the big guns, we'll go the way back. The dirt, we'll get that lifted out, mate. Bash. So, Matt, 150 litre vent, it's still going in the air. So, again, it, that looks much more bigger than that. But that is, I've calculated that, that for this property, there's one bath and one shower. More than adequate, there's no point in putting 200 litre in the air, the quick regeneration. That. What I'm going to do later on is uh, we've opened this up now. So, <clears throat> I will give you insight how a thermal store works. So, I've cut it open so you can see the coil there. Coil for the heating coil, electrical element, and the cold water coil there, <clears throat> and how it works. So, We'll do that later and get one for the Instagram if that's alright, Matt. We can do a little reel. Yeah, man. Do you want to do it? Would you mind doing that? No. I'll give you 50 quid. Alright, I'll do it. 50 quid? 100. 100 quid then done. Right, Here then. Sound. So, it's this monstrosity is out. I don't know what to do. Matt, do you know the. Am I being weird? Should I cut them pipes and put them under the floor? Should we just keep the hot and cold there? I'm thinking I'll take a board up here and send the hot and cold further back so they've got more room in the cupboard because I just think it looks shite. It's not going to take me long, is it? I'm being weird there, I know, but I figured if I whip this carpet back, take an hatch up there, I can get the cylinder in and then literally send them back and, the, and even this, because that can go. That I know we haven't figured to do all that, but then the customer's got more space, because once that cylinder's at the back, I'll send the hot and cold tight to the back up this wall there, then they're going to have miles more space in here, aren't they? Yeah, what are you doing? Are you leaving the two pots there? Two pots are fine there with a filter, I'll kick the filter to the back and the hot water filter to a pot, I'll take it back and back. I'm just thinking we can make this cupboard look like it's got more space because that's yeah, just a monstrosity. Keep all that on the back side going that way and then just put them over there. Sounds, we'll do that then. But yeah, get yeah, the cylinder So again, I've got the board up here now, that was absolutely pointless, the joists that tight. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking the head fittings out of there, I'm going to renew them and take them under there and bring them up in months and clips and lap them over to my cylinder because I just feel like I can keep that full area clear from a customer so they they can put stuff in. There's no, I say trip hazard, they aren't going to come in here, but it's the premium service. I like to think that we deliver as a company. Could have just slung the cylinder and done it, but I just don't see the point. I like to make sure things are done properly and the situation here to make it properly will be where we literally bring the hot and colds up, fit the expansion at the back, make it all look tidy, just doing a proper job and tidy because you can do wrong it for profit and messing about. Yeah, no, I need to shave a beard in it for profit but I'm a big believer like if you're chasing the money it's not going to work like we are passionate about our job at here at Caprani so the money will come in time we just keep going and keep delivering the goods and then uh, we want to be recognised as one of the premium services in the UK now that is a bold dream but I do believe it's achievable just by doing a few little steps like uh... right so I'm underway now like I say with that and I'll crack on get the radio on and uh, turn you off so that you're copyrighted lad do it properly don't we my lad Level 10 air cut right there. Oh, I tell ya, quick little insight where we're at. Doing it right as we do. Would you have this in your house? That's the question. But what I've done, I've got my hot and colds up there now. 
So I've got my cold lever valve there, cold comes back. The reason I put the valve there, my sort of balancing valve, everything, is my temperature relief and my pressure relief here is going to come across, drop down, pick this up, then it'll go across to pick up the discharge, which will be down there. Got the uh, hot in now with the lever valve on the hot as well. Cold lever valve off. The expansion is going to send out of there straight down the back, and then I'll literally pull a little dingle dangle dingle, a bend, get it up, and I'll sit makes bunch down the solid wall. But yeah, it's looking good. Found everything, don't we, Matt? Oh, the old clip it there, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you're gonna have to drill the whole lower anyway, so don't stress. Just press. Drill the whole bit. Well done. Covering everything in brick dust. I'll just move the chair just over that side for now. Add a drink and then you can put it back once you've drilled it, can't you? Thinking ahead, Matt. And it's a long way to come. So he's on with a discharge now, what I've got to do, you'll see now. I've got to get it through, so at the end, oh where is it, you can see. You can see there, there's my little always drill, just below that little uh, thing, and that's literally going to come back through there. Going to have to get a few boards up, it's a nightmare, but it's doing it right. Again, so I reckon some people are connected back to that hep 12, but it ain't right, it ain't got to fall. If it does discharge, it's not going to be right. So, and I've drilled my hole there, now we can see some discharge will come up. I can put a visible tundish on there, and from that, we're good to go. Busy as always, Matt. It's fucking dinner time, mate. I'm just on a little breather because I've been outside. <laughs> it's red hot. I haven't stopped, mate. Look what yeah, we're producing. You're in a well ventilated area. <laughs> well ventilated. So we're on with this well underway now. Why do I say well underway? It's pathetic. But uh, my hot water's in, flow returns. I've got my filling loop ready to go there. Oh, what's the name of that pressure gauge? Two automatic air vents, cold in. I've just got to get the tundish done now. So my D1s and tee them two together across into my D2. Visible tundish, which will just be on the air vent there. But yeah, then we can start getting filled up. So I, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I just hate the fact that you do jobs like this, you've got to wag it. But we do it professional, don't we, Matt? Because all we know is professionalism. I'm the epitome of professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Just leave it in the front. Let's put some mozzie in there, clear mozzie. 20 past two, boom. Boom, yeah. Boom. Boom, still got to like it, put it all back, tidy it, but it is that time where we go. Water's back on, start getting vented up now, test this cylinder out, but uh, it's looking good up to now. Try will see by that, doing a proper job. Are hey, you all just there on your knees, what are you actually doing? Well, I was going to start doing something, but I don't want to be real noisy because you're filming and that. <laughs> so I'm just here. So for all the haters out there, before you say it, and you'll be like, why have you put a lever valve on the thingy? I don't like drain offs, so I'll put a bit of pipe in there with a push fit cap. If you ever need to drain this cylinder, hose pipe, full flow, marsh. Drains yeah, drains marsh. Okay. I don't like drain offs, do you? I think they're rubbish. Well, you think in like 10 years' time, if someone was to come and do this again, and they had the same problem with us this morning, the drain off didn't work, did it? No. Yeah. So. so Make your bed on your face. What? Your face is bad. It's not bad, it's brick. <laughs> So I'll depressurise something now. You can see I'm shutting the hot off, it's isolating that. So I'll fill this back up, I can get some more pressure back in there now. Just literally what's happened now, the water's being injected through the cord there and it's just rising up like that and what's happening, because I've got nothing open, it's creating an air charge there, so there's a lot of expansion there. A lot of it will be getting pushed down to my rigid hard pipe, how it should be done, expansion vessel there. So as soon as I open this, you'll hear. Yeah, she's uh, well underway now. I need to stop saying that, she's well underway. What are you actually doing here? Just put it in the bag. No, because it's too big for the bag. What, would you cut it? <laughs> Struggling with my little arms. Look, oh, you've got a bit of tricep on you, lad. No. See your tricep, then tighten your tricep up. No. You've got a bit of that, you've got decent arms on you, haven't you? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't, mate, it's so degrading. <laughs> like, it really is degrading. I don't like it. Well. It's like you're filming me doing this. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, sweeping up, mate, like. 
<laughs> Sweep him off. He didn't want to change the ceiling off so we'll get a little Oh my god! Do you know what mate? You can go get that over now, stop. Don't ever do that again, go get the over. That's disgusting, absolutely Matt. disgusting. Do me a favour. Go to the van, get the not using the wet back, the dry back. Why you get this over? No, go get the up, mate. I'm not leaving that and you're doing it. I don't care what you say, you're doing it. We'll do as you're told, mate. Mate, look, this is my job, mate. I'm running this job. You listen to me. Got to say, Matt, don't you love a good... Yeah. Mine's better install that. Like, they've got a little bit of space at the front now. All that I go just so they can put stuff there, but that's what we do, don't <laughs> Oh, and I know you'll be thinking, what are all the crosses on my press fittings? So, I cross these, reason being is, so as soon as we've pressed our fittings, mark a cross on them, like that. Then you know they've been pressed, it is all going to be lagged. But yeah, it's... Uh... The boys are back in town! Do you reckon we copyright for that? Yeah. Anyway, we do me a favour. Go then. No. Go get the oil from the van, because you know what you're overing up. We'll get it now. Do as you're told. Oi! Mate! Do as you're told. Bad that. <laughs> Mate, you've got some decent forearms up. Look at that. Little That's thing. not bad that, is it, to be fair? No, it's quite sound that I gave that. That's... Uh... Yeah, is that just on one arm when you play with yourself at night? I didn't know I had that. Fair play, mate, fair play. Ed, come on, Matt, you said you're going to do the wiring. Yeah, Talk to me. You said that's easy, you've just looked at it, I went, yeah, that's a piece, you could do it with your eyes closed. So, so tell me what's going on with this wiring then. Um, basically, um, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's looking good though. Do you know what I like on this, mate? Look at this. Why you say that's looking good, isn't it? We've literally used one fitting on the full discharge. What do you think to that? It's not looking good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> you got some tits on you, though. You what? Look at your side boobs. Yeah, power on you, <laughs> Pull your finger back, I see what I said. I get that. I've got little ones. That's non working out like isn't it? <laughs> Bye. Right, so I've just finished wiring it in. Uh, she is all working and on and live. Ooh, nice and hot. So I'm happy with this one. Oof. I'm not happy with the filter where it is, but it's not what I can do. Uh, and all I'm going to do with these wires is tie wrap them to the pipes and get it lagged up now and get it all tie wrapped in and done. Because I don't like the way things span like that. So I've knackered that up on me, but it'll be alright. can go all that up with it and tie wrap that up there. But again, quick insight I will flow in S Plan Plus. Uh, I do need to speak about potentially making domestic hot water priori, priority. But what I need to do there is look to put a additional tool port in there now. A normally open one so I could put it here bridge it and do it and all the controls but with the part L alert speak to client about that it's gone cold Matt boil must trip salt oh hang on no anyways but I was just going back for its motions but yeah a lot better customer's got a lot more room I've just got to get it all legged up now what do you think Matt you happy with that job or what but then a lot better than this morning, didn't it? Right. Just lagging it like jobs like this. I love doing it. Making it look immaculate. Valves here, there, and everywhere. You name it, you want it. Matty will give you it. Passport photo like a monkey. But it just annoys me that we've got to uh, like it all. It does need doing because it's the right way to do it, but we'll crack on. We'll crack on. Doesn't matter how good of a job we do for your clients. What matters is keeping it tied when you've done. So Matty's just finishing up now, going for the stairs. Uh, we did go live a little bit so we'll have seen, but I am complete now. I've dropped the shelf down because it's higher, it didn't need to be because I've got rid of that big nasty cylinder now. So here what we've installed is a 150 litre unvented cylinder. All with the mighty perfect joints now. Oh, I tell you what, I'm impressed with that. The pipe weight looked mean, but the lagging looks even better. So I've got local isolation valve for my co-main, hot isolator bulb as well there. Don't panic guys, 
before you start winding there's a valve there I always like to do lactic drops of pressure straight away and when you're installing lever valves they need to fall to off so you'd never put them to fall to open reason being if something got knocked in it knocked it open what meant to be so always fall to off I've took the bounce uh, bounce cord my cold expansion up there comes off my block valve there then the cold literally just comes down goes in but I'm just going to let it be quiet for 10 seconds and just let you take it all in So from what this was today, you can see we've gone above and beyond. Oh my god, I've got my wagon on that. I'll do that now. Shifting the pipes back under there, getting under there so the client's got a little bit more space here now as well. Uh, the drain off which we've put on there, you guys will maybe look at that and be like, why have you done that? I don't like drain offs. So I've put this on so it is isolated and safe. But if we need to work on the system now in the future, we can just disconnect this nut here. Put a nose pipe on and good to go but lagging keeping wires tied and everything is paramount thinner loops there pressure gauges there that's done but again it's been another push for us today uh, big install job again done thermal store out new discharge all done and everything found everything uh, we are back tomorrow me and my in the morning at that uh client shop where we recently power flushed it so we'll get you might go live on that one for a little bit. We've got a magma clean to fit, not magma clean, a filter to fit on the boiler, new expansion vessel and a few other bits. But as always guys, thanks for the support. I just want to say one thing, you know, really, really appreciate it. It means a lot and say to you. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't be loving rubbish in my van. Because I love rubbish in your van. What are you doing? Why do you have to mess about? Right, do you know what? Get in that van now. Mate, you are, do you? <laughs> Corner, let's go. I'll lock the van. That's fine. You'll get off now then if you want. I'll just go there, alright, lad. I'll speak to you later, but cheers today, mate. How do you want to say to Loki? Luke. Luke. He's an idiot. I know. Damn, being sent here in this weather. Ring him. Who's on call, by the way? You're on call. You're a dickhead, man. What are you doing that shit for? You've got chewing in your door, Nilfar. You're wrong. See you later, lad. I know. He's called back King lately, isn't he? What? Get one moved. You know what? That's out of you, man! <laughs> mate, I'm gonna fucking kill ya. Fine. Fucking 28 degrees, all my mates sat in pub, and I've gotta to go to one of your callbacks on a leaking toilet. What? What's she called? I don't know. Wait, I'll tell you now. It's Hawthorne Ave, mate. Um, Florence. Florence. <laughs> Yeah, she's probably... So, again, Matt is on call, I'll leave him to... But that's just done, uh, out of here. I'm just going to sign up with the client now. I'm absolutely shattered. I've got more jobs to go do. I'll pick the kids up, the wife's working tonight. Need them in, uh Been that day today. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for coming along for the banter, and we'll see you tomorrow.